Hi, this is video is to show you how to use an OWL energy monitor, not just to check on the total load used by the house, but also to check on the amount of power being used by a single appliance. And also to download the data onto your computer. Uh, as supplied, the OWL energy monitor has a display unit which can be remotely located anywhere in the house. This is the transmitter which sends the signal to the, the sensor and this is the pickup which is usually clamped around one of the cables at the supply end of the house wiring usually near the consumer unit. It has to be clamped over one of the wires, either the phase or the neutral. It seems to work equally well no matter which one you use. Okay, for this demonstration I'm using a 3 kilowatt kettle as the load. This is the main supply wire and I've clamped the sensor around it here. And as you can see, when I turn it on, there will be no change in the reading. kettle is now on. The sensor takes a reading every 12 seconds and as you can hear the kettle is on but there is no reading. So clamping the sensor around the supply cable simply won't work. This is the adapter that I've made so that you can test a single appliance inside I have used a jaw box not a twin box but a jaw box and the live from the supply is split the live comes through this loop here which is made of starter motor cable so it's really heavy and then goes back into the socket onto the live output Right, this is the unit connected up. The, the supply wire from the mains is here and then through the adapter, through the loop and onto the kettle. Um, you can see that the, the clamp is quite a loose fit but I found in practice this doesn't seem to affect the reading. So to show you it in use I'll turn the kettle on kettle is on now, it takes 12 seconds for the OWL energy monitor to measure the current. And there we, we have it, it's reading 2.624 kilowatts. Although the kettle is rated at 3 kilowatts, in practice I found that all appliances slightly underrun from their, their nameplate rated. Um, consumption presumably. I, this is for reasons of safety. Right, I've connected up the energy mon monitor to the computer and I'm going to show how I how the da data is downloaded. You've got the choice between live and historic data. Uh, if I go to live, I've uh, connected up the monitor now to the house circuit. So this is the total load in real time. I say real time, it's in the last two minutes. So currently we're running at about 1.8, 1.9 kilowatts and it's just gone up to 3.4. It's about plus uh, 5 degrees C outside. So what you're seeing are the electric heaters turning on and off on their thermostats to keep the temperature at about 18 to 21 degrees throughout the house. And it's quite uh, interesting if you've got nothing better to do to watch how the load varies in real time or almost real time. If you go on to any of the spots it will give you uh, a readout of the consumption within that time slot.
it's going down now less than a kilowatt just at one kilowatt less than a kilowatt now the other option is to um, show historic data and it you go firstly it's uh, for the whole year and then that's 2015 then the months this is for January and I've been doing some experimenting this is uh, I'll go on here which is the 5th of January and you can have the choice of showing this is I think for the whole house you've got the choice of uh, showing the display as a line chart which I think and the red line is the maximum during the period and the blue line is the minimum and you can do spot checks at for any of the time slots you can if you want to remove the maximum let's try again uh, and there you've just got a, a bald chart now uh, go back to January um, let's try this one which is the 13th 13th of January uh, I'm not sure what that one was um, yes this is a this is a single appliance test and what we're seeing here is a panel heater one panel heater and uh, this is the on period here you'll see slight variations in the on period period because of line voltage variations within the house perhaps another heater turned on or off which explains the 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 variation here this is off completely that's on and if we go back and try another day another hour sorry um, that's one I think that may be the same one let's try this one that one's these uh, oh, here we are this is another period you notice that the heater it spends most of its time off even though the temperature is only a few degrees above uh, freezing um, correctly set uh, these panel heaters are off longer than they are on which is critical to keeping the costs down so I'm using the the OWL uh, energy monitor as as a check that the panel heater thermostats are working correctly right I've downloaded uh, five days results from three of the heaters uh, using the uh, single uh, appliance adapter and it gives some idea of what you can achieve over a, over a longer period uh, this is a bedroom too which is a, a middle sized bedroom this is a landing and this is the kitchen I'll just slide it past as best I can uh, and you can see each of these pages is a 24 hour period and it does show a few interesting things like the um, bedroom heater is on for relatively short time um, and then off whereas the kitchen the kitchen one is on for a, a longer period but is off for a longer period and it's so important to that the panel heaters are set correctly uh, and that the thermostats are working properly if the thermostat should jam on it's quite unlikely that you would notice until you saw the electricity bill and using this energy monitor uh, in this way does prove that all the thermostats are working correctly turning on and off as they should throughout the 24 hour period and over uh, the, the five days Uh, any appliance fitted with a thermostat can be checked for correct operation and these are the results from uh, a day for my fridge and my freezer. The, this one is the fridge and this one is the freezer. Again you can see some small amount of variation in the top graph and 
not quite sure why that is. The the one at the bottom is the fridge, and that shows fairly linear operation of the thermostat and is proof that all is well. One final uh, note is the, the CD that comes with the OWL um, is, is not any good. It's very unreliable, uh, but if you go to their site you can download for free the latest version of the software and I found that to work really well. So don't use this CD. Uh, go, that, go to the site and download their, their, their latest software. Thanks very much for watching.